medications for diabetes. Madam Lin retires this year. Her diabetes had been under control for two years. Three months ago, she starts injecting insulin before sleep. Her last HbA1c reading was 7.5 percent. The blood test report this time shows 8.0 percent. Madam Lin, what do you think is the reason of the increased HbA1c level this time? Oh, there is no change. Diet is as usual. I take my medication as per the doctor's advice. Ms. Wei brings out her educational material, containing pictures of some medications, and cross-checks the pictures one by one with Madam Lin. Oh, this white pill. I don't take it sometimes. Is it because you do not feel well after taking it? That's right. You are not aware. After taking this pill. My stomach will feel bloated. It is uncomfortable, and I do not feel like eating my meal. I am already having diabetes, and this makes it worse. I'd rather not take it. Thank you. Now I understand your situation. How about insulin? How much do you inject? Uh, hmm. I think it is twelve units. It seems like you're not familiar with the insulin dose. Could you please tell me why it is so, Miss Wei? You do not understand our misery. Every day, I have to take so many medicines, even have to inject insulin before sleep. It is very troublesome. When my neighbor Mr. Wang started taking insulin, his once a day injection becomes four injection a day. Yesterday, he was sent to the hospital for dialysis. Very pitiful. I'm afraid that I will also end up like him and go for dialysis. Madam Lin, insulin is a hormone produced in our body. Due to the insulin produced in your body is not enough, there is a need to replenish it to stabilize the blood glucose levels. This also makes sure that the pancreas is not being overworked. If you do not feel well when taking any medication, please remember to discuss it with me or make an appointment with the clinic to consult the doctor to adjust your medications. Oh, looks like I have misunderstood the use of insulin. Insulin is actually very helpful to our body. That's right. As for kidney dialysis, you might have some misunderstanding. Kidney dialysis happens when the long-term control of blood glucose is poor. For example, having HbA1c more than nine percent in a long term will damage the blood vessels in the kidneys, change the vessels' permeability. Affecting the kidney functions, leading to the stage of dialysis in the end. Oh, this is the reason. Following next, Madam Lin goes to the clinic for consultation. Oh, it's my turn. Good day, Madam Lin. Do you feel unwell recently? Miss Wei has spoken a lot to me just now. I will make sure to inject the insulin properly next time. Also. About the white pill that makes my stomach bloated, could you adjust the medication for me, please? All right. Let me take a look at your report. You have to be serious about insulin injection. The dose remains the same. I will just change the medication for you. Many people are saying that for diabetes, we will be taking more and more medications. I may finally end up going for dialysis. Unconsciousness. Due to low blood glucose, might happen especially when insulin is not injected properly. The more be injected, the more serious it gets. Do I really need to inject insulin? Madam Lin, there are many types of medications used to treat diabetes nowadays. These include the oral anti-diabetic medications, insulin. Medications that promote insulin release, etc. Doctors will base on patient's lifestyle and blood glucose level changes to choose the most suitable medication for treatment. About your concern with insulin, the main issue is there is not enough insulin release in your body, requiring replenishment through injecting insulin in order to lower the blood glucose levels. There are many different ways of injecting insulin. According to the individual's dietary habits, living lifestyles, and blood glucose level changes, the method of injection will be chosen to meet the individual's requirements. At the same time, combining this with self-monitoring of blood glucose, 
you're able to better understand whether the doses of the medications are suitable for your condition. Diabetes complications usually occur due to poor blood glucose control, and also not monitoring the blood glucose levels timely in order to identify the problem early. Doctor, you have explained it very clearly, and it is easy to understand. I get it now. I will follow your advice and care. Take my medications timely. Inject insulin before sleep. And if I have any questions, I will ask you. No problem. Take good care of your health. Yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs>